Okay, in this problem we're going to be doing some work with 3D vectors. They want us to determine the X, Y and Z components of this 450 Newton vector. And then in part B they want us to find the theta X, Y and Z that the force forms with the coordinate axes. Okay, first thing what I did is I redrew it in a way that we can see this uh, 450 Newton vector a little bit better. Let me see, let me put this 450 Newton and I'm gonna call it force F in order for I can write Fx, Fz and Fy. Okay, I rewrote it and this way I'm looking at it from the negative X uh, axis direction from this corner instead of from z and positive x because it's harder to see the component so i redrew it from this angle now we can analyze its angles better uh, this will be the fy component and this will be the theta that's gonna give us f uh, theta y now theta x gonna come actually theta x is our x-axis is right here, but we're going to measure it to our positive side. So it's going to come from here to our positive x-axis would go this way. So this would be our theta x. And theta z will come from here down here. Okay, I'm going to start calculating the components. I'm going to rely on this setup and I'm going to use cosine. The first component that I'm going to find, Fy, I'm going to draw it towards the Fy and there you go. This is our Fy component right here. And we're going to use F times cosine of the theta, which is 450 newtons times cosine of, let's see, we have a horizontal line here and this is a vertical so that would be 90 degrees but this bottom one is given to us so this over here is 90 minus 35 with a calculator we're gonna get 258.11 newtons okay now I'm gonna calculate this FH this is just an intermediary value that I'm gonna use to find F of Z and F of X Okay, I'm going to use right now this triangle right here from F down to FH, which is this one, and then back up to its uh, the tip of FF. And I'm going to use the value of 35, since we know this angle. I'm going to use the same formula, so FH equals F times cosine 35. Plug in, and our value is 368. We're going to use this to find the other two. Now I'm going to use this triangle right here to find F of Z, the component FZ. We know the angle is 40, it was given, so therefore FZ equals FH, the one we calculated right here, times the cosine 40. This gives us 282. There you go, we found our second component. For the third one, FX this one we have to pay a little bit of attention because our x is not in the uh, positive side of x it's on the negative side so we're going to use the same formula we're going to use fh times cosine and it's going to be cosine 90 plus 40 and this is because we measure the angle to the positive side of the axis okay so we know that from this positive axis of x all the way till the z here this is 90 degrees but we're not coming here we're coming all the way here so 90 plus 40. okay uh, the triangle that we are using is this one fh the negative side over here of the x-axis and right here okay plug in there's our value and we're gonna have a negative 
f of x since it's going towards the negative x axis. Okay, now we're going to start working on the angles. We're going to use this formula again. We're going to solve for theta from it. So, I'm going to find theta of y first. So I'm going to write it up, f of y equals f times cosine of theta y. So this would be from the triangle that is from uh, f of y, f, and closed in with uh, a line from the tip to tip. And we are looking for theta of y. Okay, so if so solve for theta of y with uh, inverse of cosine, plug in and we get 55 uh, degrees. Now we're going to do the same thing for theta of z and theta of x with uh, negative uh, inverse of cosine. For both of them we're going to be able to find these values.